Here we've got a 24 inch oak. Uh, it's too kind of too big to get out of out of this area. So, but it's right at 24 inches. That's the kind of the limit that I quarter saw. And so we're going to take this uh, tree and cut it into quarters so that we can get it out of this area. And then we'll take it to the sawmill and um, and quarter saw it. So this week I. Uh, Upgraded chainsaws went to the new steel MS 461. I had the uh, 038 which is getting hard to find parts for so Cut the log in half with this uh, new saw and boy it makes a big difference having that just slightly bigger saw so We got the log in half and then now I'm going to roll it on with the flat sides up and then cut it into quarters so that we can uh, Have it ready to load on the truck and uh, take it to the mill a little bit of effort we got the first two quarters we're going to now lay the other half flat and cut it and get it into quarters as well a thermometer on that thing we can show yeah really nice hundred degree heat Perfect time to do it. Yeah. Have to go your way a little bit. I'm going to turn that switch back on. If you want to okay. The denies are shut at the pool. All right. Oh, we're, uh, I was going to take it to that one temporarily. Let me get it closer for you. Yep. Let me lift that in, and then you can straighten that, that, that piece out. Okay. This one, so all right. I'm gonna lift it and put it back on this one. Okay, Picture's over. Uh, yeah, here I'm gonna lift and you roll it back toward me. Yep. All right, got it. Okay, come up against the rock here. Yep. Okay. All right. 
You'll hold this in. Hold this in down. Not. I think we're going to flip it. That's pretty good. It's probably better to slide it. Yeah, just so slide it as it. Perfect. Whew. One more to go. Okay. So we're down to one quarter left. We're taking it and, as you saw, we are rolling it on pieces of wood and then stacking it over here. Uh, then I can back the truck up under this shed and then be able to run some uh, kickers down and then just use the cant hook and roll them up onto the truck. We had to do this because the forklift can't get in here uh, into the space because of all the rocks and uh, where the terrain slopes. So anyway, been at this for several hours, we're tired. We've got one left, one more left to go. This is a tough job getting all this chestnut oak up, uh, just because of where it was with all the rock and everything like that, but produced uh, 12 quarters. We're gonna load those up tomorrow with the summer the way it is, powder post beetles will be after that stuff quick, so. Load that up in the morning and uh, we'll uh, get it to the sawmill. So I'll take some pictures of it after I get it uh, loaded on the truck. We made the quarters to the mill and we've got them loaded on the log rack. Of course, we have to turn a few of them over, flip a few of them over. So when you're quarter sawing on a circle mill, you saw with this uh, point right here straight up the goal being that the saw is parallel to a, an imaginary line from the center of the tree out to the bark that's going to give you true quarter sawn near the middle of the wedge you'll have a little bit of rift sawn on the outside and then that waste on that little uh, triangle on the outside so rift sawn is when the uh, grain is about 45 degrees to the face of the board and then true quarter sawn is when it's between 45 and 90 degrees to the face of the board which is what you get uh, in the center. So it's been a while since we used the mill. I had some adjustment I had to do on it quick. So we're going to get it fired up here in just a minute and then uh, start loading the quarter on and start doing some quarter sawing.
I'm going to try a stab at these um, boards. It's kind of hard to see the fleck from the quarter saw. You can kind of really see it in this board and then the, uh, then the center and then the board to the right as well has got quite a bit of quarter saw and fleck in it. As I'm videoing this, I'm trying to look in the screen, but it's hard to see uh, because the sun has been out. The sun's behind a cloud now. But anyway, you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. So now we're going to take this home to the house. Uh, I store it in the top of my shop to let it dry, and we'll sticker it up there because we don't want bugs to get to it or we don't want any mold, uh, mold to start uh, getting on it. Something I found while sawing, I saw this and decided to plow on through it because of the fact that it was lead, but there's two bullets that were embedded into the tree. Most of the time when there's metal in the tree, you can look at the both ends of the log and there'll be a little blue stain. That's when you know to metal detect it and find out what the piece of wood is. One time I found a four inch J bolt inside of a oak tree that would have made a mess of the sawmill had it been left in there but because we saw the blue stains on the ends we knew it was there and we used the metal detector and found it. These bullets didn't provide any blue stain on the ends of the logs but um, I noticed it as we got close to them once I realized it was bullets I just went ahead and sawed right on through it and uh, didn't stop but just a something interesting that you find in a log when you're going to saw it. I unloaded all of the quarter sawn oak from the uh, truck and now I've got it up here in the top of the shop and it is stickered. I brought an extra light up here because it's hard to see this up in this area without a light. I don't have any lights in the top of the shop. So basically to sticker it you, uh, you are doing two things. You are guaranteeing the, that you have weight on it so to keep the boards flat and you are providing a path for airflow through to dry the wood. So up in the top of my shop, I've got vents on the side of the building and then at the roof, which gives good airflow. And it usually stays about 120 degrees up here. It seems that's what it feels like anyway in the summertime. So it dries out the wood pretty quick and it helps get rid of any powder post beetles that lingered on the wood as uh, we were cutting it, which I actually saw a few and killed a few. So if I, I will monitor the wood closely over the next couple of weeks. If I see evidence of powder post beetles, I'll spray it uh, to get rid of them. When you're aligning the stickers, uh, it's important to get all the stickers straight in alignment top to bottom. You can see underneath here, there's some 4x4 four four posts that have dried that were some cedar. And I've kind of used them to kind of bridge over because the oak was a little bit longer. Normally you would, and, it, and that cedar's already dry, so, but normally you would line up all the stickers in, in line with each other. Uh, that's to make sure you get even distribution of weight across each board and that you don't uh, induce bowing in any one of the boards. So anyway, that's stickering. I will go into the house. I made our fireplace mantle and our um, some lamps out of quarter sawn oak and you'll get to see the finished product of what quarter sawn oak looks like and hopefully what this would look like one day when I build a piece of furniture out of it. This is our fireplace mantle that I made about seven years ago out of a tree that we quarter sawed that came from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. The, you can see the grain in it, how, the, how striking the grain is in the, in the quarter sawn on that piece that's, that's angled. Uh, as I come over and kind of move down the flat side of it, you can also see the grain there that's very pronounced. We made the mantle out of quarter sawn because quarter sawn wood has properties where it does not expand and contract like regular sawn wood. So with this mantle being exposed to the fireplace or the heat from the fireplace and then also going back to the cooling in the summer, it's going to see the maximum extremes and so we wanted it to be very stable um, and we also wanted it uh, for the look because, uh, because of the way the grain is. So from, from tree to finished product, this is, uh, this is what something made out of quarter sawn looks like.